Friday morning. We are out here at this driveway and uh, I want to show you guys what a super driveway looks like in Michigan. So this thing is six inches thick of concrete. There's two inches of foam. There's PEX tubing for snow melt. We've got our wire mesh in here. Our wire mesh is all overlapped. At least one square, six inches as you guys can see. We've got all of our wire that we tie together at the seams as you guys can see our tie wire. We do that at least every three feet. This driveway never being allowed to freeze here will be amazingly strong. We've got our vinyl expansion that's going to go all the way up along the house here. You can see it sitting up there. We've got dowels drilled in here to go from our sidewalk into our driveway because it's all heated. As you guys can see, we angle off our corners so you don't end up with this little pie shape. We've got a rod going through there. So you have a nice strong corner on both sides instead of a little pie that you don't want. So we're going to pour this front sidewalk here first this morning. This afternoon, we're going to go back over here and we're going to pour this, this chunk here, the back patio and sidewalk, get this thing done. And uh, we like to put our pecs directly stapled down to the foam with those black staples. We put our wire on top of the packs and this allows a couple things it keeps your wire automatically up an inch or so off of the foam and you can lift the wire some guys zip tie their pecs to the wire and that has to then stay on the bottom because if you were to lift up the wire with the pecs hooked to it it floats all the way through the concrete pretty hard to cut the concrete then because you don't actually know the height of the pecs so you could cut through all of your all of your packs so this is how things are looking this morning we are going to get uh, set up here and we're gonna get these two sidewalks poured so we got this little sidewalk all down we ran our Milwaukee vibrator along all the edges in the middle just to help consolidate this and the floor heat and everything it makes a big difference um, kind of like using a fiber screen where it really shakes the stuff down in there gets your edges a lot tighter you don't have as much um, air bubbles and things like that as you guys can see we got our dowels stuck through the 2x4 here so when we strip this one next week this 2x4 will pull off here and those dowels will already be in there so these pieces will be pinned together and we've got one in our little 45 piece here and then when we pour this we'll put another piece of rod up in this way so this will all be one strong nice piece We'll clean this up good so we can get our two by four off with no issues and uh that's how the sidewalk is done so the truck's washing out right now al's getting the buggy clean and uh a few more hours we'll pour that back section the same way Well, one o'clock everybody uh, truck got here half hour late got this one all down um, got her bolt floated seven yards here 
front sidewalk the guy started stripping that one so that's good we'll go check that out here in a minute so we're gonna get everything cleaned up here and uh, basically just gonna finish this one the customer doesn't want any of this broomed he wants a not a swirl finish but a rougher finish so we're just hitting it with mags a couple times I'll show you guys the front walk so you can check that out but uh yeah we got our bulkheads in over there and everything so this one's all looking good we got our wire up nice there's Andy okay as promised I'll show you guys this front one not my favorite finish by any means but this is what the owner wanted just floated no broomed you guys can see that by vibrating the edge we got a really nice tight edge on it it's all looking nice plan is is uh, Andy and I are gonna come here tomorrow cut strip this uh, cut and strip the back one get everything kind of tidied up but Saturday morning we are out here concrete's less than 24 hours old we've got all of our saw cuts in this front sidewalk got it all stripped feels like it's gonna rain outside eventually hopefully be good for this concrete to get get a nice day of rain on it we got this back one all cut up here all stripped um, this one is what we poured this one at 12 30 one o'clock it's I don't know quarter to nine in the morning so got her cut as fast as we could so it didn't chip and we're gonna go over here And as you guys can see on our gauge after all saw cut, we still got pressure, so that's good. And over here, we've still got tons of pressure. So our saw cuts did not affect anything. Our setup has not affected anything. And now we get this swept off and we'll call it a Saturday. Okay, boys and girls, we're back out here at this one, the super driveway. What we're going to do right now is dump uh, like 18 yards in that top part there. Um, that's the plan. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to pour this other section back here. So we're just waiting on our mud to get here. Got everything laid out. Got our bisque queen up. So we're just... Uh, Waiting on mud. First truck just pulling in here, guys. So you know what that means. It's time to turn mud into money. Three quarters of the way through the pour here. Just had to stop for a minute to put our bulk head in. Everything's looking good. A couple more buggies here and we'll have her. Got this one all down. Got a finished floatner. Gonna get everything cleaned up. Put a nice little hand finish on this one. He doesn't want it broomed again. So Al's getting everything washed up. We're gonna get the machine loaded up. I'm gonna run and grab a pump we're gonna put over there by the drain because that's our low point. I'm gonna pump out the water that's underneath the foam for tomorrow. We're gonna pour that piece tomorrow morning and uh, just keep plugging away here. 
not supposed to be any rain today. It's supposed to hold off for us. So uh, hopefully the next couple days here we can make up a little ground for the rain days we've been having. As always, guys, like, share, subscribe. We appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy the content. We're going to keep it coming. We got this one all down. The uh, owner didn't want her broomed again, just wanted it floated. So we hand floated everything to match the sidewalks. That's how we're going to do the rest of this too. So this one's all down. We're going to pour that little piece back there tomorrow if it's not raining. Now they're saying 55%. We're going to pour this part on Monday. Right now we are going over to knock out a little 6x14 at one location that we got formed up and a little step at another location so everybody's pulling out of here and we are heading over there to bang out those two so uh this driveway's coming along good a lot of concrete out here so see you guys on the next one monday morning youtube it's getting cold out it's uh september here in michigan uh it's about 10 to 6 in the morning, I got the trucks fired up, got the machine out. Plan for the day, uh, we're going back to that super driveway job with the floor heat in it. Uh, we're gonna dump like 25, 26 yards. We got another part after that set up, which I was gonna pour tomorrow. If everything goes good today, I'm gonna make the pour, get the other part ready, and then set it up uh, or set it up and pour it today uh, so if we can get both parts done today we will um, I'm gonna grab the phone so that's probably concrete and I will see you guys out there over half the pour done here, probably three quarters. Just filling that a little bit in on the other side of the drain. We're gonna come over here and hit this. So, you guys got the wire up in there. Got our bulk head form put in here. So, just uh, gonna get through this last truck here. Hopefully I have enough mud and everything. Get this thing poured out.
All right, everybody. Monday afternoon, 120. Got that first part all down. We poured this. Uh, that was 25 and a half yards. This one was 18 and a half yards. So we're at like, what? I don't know, 43, 44 yards for the day. Still got to finish this one. A little wet on the end here. Al took off to go to another job. I'm going to go help him out and uh, stay tuned. That one's a unique project. A bunch of Simon forms, some footings. Andy's got a big project going of his own. So that's how we're doing. Last stop of the day uh, out here at this driveway to check on how uh, Kirk and Davey did with cutting her up. Like I said, the owner wanted a kind of rough hand finish on this thing, did not want it broomed whatsoever. So not my preference for a finish, but that's what he wanted. So that's what he got. Uh, so it looks like the guys cut this thing up nice. Nice small squares, everything's good, I like it. So I'm gonna shut her down for the day.